Welcome to Activations with JJ Ascension School, Part 21. Today we'll be talking about a few basics. The basics of the Galactic Federation and the basics of developing your intuition. Thanks for joining me. Can't wait to dive into this episode with you. Hello, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode. I always love creating Ascension School because it allows me to just kind of sometimes go back to the basics and or learn something new. Today we are doing the prior. We're going back to the basics. I had some questions asked of me this week and it reminded me that there are many of you at different stages in your journey where this information could be useful. I was reminded of where I was a few years ago and I thought I haven't really addressed that stuff lately so I'd like to bring it up. I'd like to kind of lay out for you where I was at and my sort of learning experiences so that you can see how it was for me, maybe make some comparisons and gain some information from that. Before we start into the topics, I do want to drop in and let you know I have an exciting gathering this month, and that is our light language circle. I've decided to bring back the light language circle. I think I'm going to do it monthly because I've had so many people ask me about activating their light language abilities or learning more light language. And so on the 23rd of July, we will be holding a light language circle at 7 a.m. Pacific time. You can join through the link down below. And this is for people who have light language abilities but just want to learn more or activate more or people who don't really know if they have any, but kind of want to explore that avenue. So everybody is welcome, all skill levels. It's done via Zoom and it's virtual and you can actually order a playback as well. So if you hop on that link, you'll see how to do all of those things and I would love to have you join us. Speaking of ordering recordings, I finally have somewhat of a setup for you to be able to order recordings. If you've missed the gatherings in about the last month or so, I've started recording them. You can hop on to the link below and you can order some of those recordings. This may or may not be the way I have the ordering situation going here from here forward, but I just had to kind of discover this tech. Speaking of learning the basics and new things, for me, it's learning more about the tech of having a quote unquote store or shop where you can purchase these recordings from me on my website. But for now, this is what it's going to be. I just know that I want to give more people access to those gatherings because they are so powerful. There is actually something coming up in August that I want to drop in and remind you of. I do have just a couple more spots, two more spots left in my multidimensional soul activation. This will be the last program I run of this kind for a while. So I highly encourage you, if you feel drawn to do soul activation, to jump in and do that. I was actually reading something today in a book called The Sophia Code, and it resonated with me with regards to what my guides have told me multidimensional soul activation is. It talked about dormant parts of your energetic body. And I was like, that is exactly what we're doing with multidimensional soul activation. We're awakening those dormant parts. So if you feel like there's something there, but you can't quite access it, we help you discover the keys to open up those abilities and that awareness with multidimensional soul activation. The link to sign up for that or just find out more about it is below as well. And that, my friends, is all I have for you with upcoming events. All right, we're going to head into the topics today. So yesterday we had our Galactic Federation gathering. And in the gathering, I decided that I would take a moment just to channel information, basic information, about what the Galactic Federation actually is. One of the reasons I decided to do that is because I actually looked up on the internet for different websites about the Galactic Federation of Light. And you can try it. Maybe you'll have more luck than I did. But I literally typed in Galactic Federation or Galactic Federation of Light and I could find hardly anything. I know there are some books out there. I did not have time to go get a book and read about it. Sal Rochelle is one of my go-to resources for these things. 
but I still feel like there are aspects of the Galactic Federation which I have experienced but have not tapped into in reading people's blogs or books. There are different timelines, as you know, different dimensions and vibrations, and the Galactic Federation is multidimensional, so it exists in all these densities. Some of the people bringing up information about the Galactic Federation are experiencing it in a different way than I am. They're still experiencing it from more of a dualistic perspective where I have shifted into unity consciousness and non-duality and I have chosen to experience the Galactic Federation in that realm. And so therefore, some of the information that I receive, I don't call it misinformation. I simply call it information from a perspective that doesn't resonate with me anymore. I used to be more involved in that uh, several years ago when I was doing this work and I was tapping into you know, my clairs and working with different beings. I was definitely more involved with a dualistic perspective, more like spiritual battle, spiritual warfare is maybe what you would call it. I've sort of moved on from that. I had that experience and decided to shift into something different, more peaceful, unity consciousness focused. And therefore, I've just decided maybe I'll bring through for you today what I kind of touched on in the Galactic Federation gathering, which by the way, you can actually order that. Uh, you can order that recording from the link below. So if you want a little bit more information, but tapping into it, I do want to let you know there are some aspects of the Galactic Federation that you that may resonate with you just because they're similar to organizations we have here on the planet. The part about the organizations here that is different is more the like the top-down mentality, where in the Galactic Federation that I tap into, it's definitely a everyone's on the level playing field. There are people in certain roles, but the ego is removed from that. And therefore, you have everybody working in one big team. And everybody realizes and understands the concept, one that I brought through actually in my very last Ascension message, something that dropped in a very powerful phrase, I am you and you are me and we are we. And if you could come up with a motto for the Galactic Federation that I tap into, that's it. They realize and know and understand that we are all one. We are all family. And when earth decides to come into that, when the collective decides to accept that more, then we'll be able to work in a more conscious way with the Galactic Federation. For now, it's happening in the etheric realms. It's definitely happening. Believe me, if you've come to a gathering, you know it's happening. But we'll be able to do it more consciously. It will actually be out there for us to read about and know about on a more broad level. But the Galactic Federation is an organization that is focused on peace and unity consciousness, as well as assisting collective groups. So it almost feels like to me, when you deal with your guides, for instance, you have different guides that are capable and gifted in different ways. Whenever I do one-on-one -on -one session with a person and they haven't really been introduced to their guides yet, I will bring through their guides and we will have their guides present themselves and present the ways that they are there to help this individual. Well, that's kind of what I feel like the role of the Galactic Federation is for our collective, for the collective, whether it be on a planetary level, whether it be on a galactic level or even a universal level. There's different aspects of the Galactic Federation, which you would move on to call it something else, obviously, if it were on a higher than galactic level. But these particular organizations have groups and orders. If you've ever heard of like the Ashtar Command, that would be one example. The Great White Brotherhood is another. I explain those in a different episode. I'll leave the link to below to that. But those are guides for collective groups. And that's the role that they play. They wish to help us on a collective level. And therefore, they work with us collective to collective. And so when we gather, when we gather, whether it be you gathering with JJ in her gatherings or you gather with other people, 
you are going to be able to connect better with the Galactic Federation. It's a better match of energy. And in the Galactic Federation, I find that many people I work with, many people that come to me have a role in a parallel life or as part of their one of their soul aspects on the Galactic Federation. You have a title and a duty and a role. And that kind of be confusing to people because they wonder like, I didn't know about this before. What the heck is going on? And so I have to talk to people about it and help them understand your awareness is just not there. It's happening. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to sit down every day and say, okay, what are my Galactic Federation duties? What if I neglect them? It's not like that. You're still doing it even while you are having a life here on the planet Earth. Our job here is to be present, to be embodied. And if we want to go play in the Galactic Federation awareness, we can do that, but it's not a a requirement of us. There's no supposed to's. I talked about that in the last Ascension message. (laughs) So just reminding yourself that If you decide to explore your persona in the Galactic Federation, which I have dipped my pinky toe in that personally, but you may be surprised to know that I don't go there all the time. I don't visit that all the time. I know that my myself, my soul aspect who is working in the Galactic Federation is doing its thing there. I feel it. I sense it. I have many friends and guides that come to me and they tell me, we know you through the Galactic Federation. I honestly, my friends, would not be doing this work, I don't think, if I didn't. I have had some sort of clear cognizance teaching me that I have duties as a linguist, a starseed linguist, a diplomat working to connect different races together. And that's obviously what I do here. I am channeling so many different races and making connections with them here on this planet as I bring through in my one-on-one sessions, different beings for different people. And that is reflective of what I do on the Galactic Federation. I have associates that I work with. I have assistants that I work with. That's something that came through in the gathering. Those who are working in the Galactic Federation have people and beings assisting them. And so when you think, oh my gosh, I'm so overwhelmed. I have a role in the Galactic Federation. I don't know. What should I do? Well, you have assistants. You can bring them forward to connect with them and say, hey, what am I doing? How can you help me? Is there different ways I could do things here on this planet? And again, this is all for play in a way. This is all because we're creating this reality. We're creating our experience, our soul journey. And this is part of it. This is just part of it. There's lots of other parts of it. But it's a really fun thing to do. I'm going to dig a little deeper to see if I can find out for you more information about the Galactic Federation. In fact, I kind of feel drawn to create a Galactic Federation school. So kind of like I did my angelic activation school or my psychic activation workshop where I did three things in a row where we were able to intensively study and connect with the Galactic Federation. And I'm going to go ahead and set that up for August 2022. So you should see a link below for that. Usually when I create new events, it always drops in in the middle of recording an episode. (laughs) So after I'm done with this episode, I will bring that through and I will create those links and drop them in the comment section. I feel it will be very powerful for us as we prime and calibrate the energy of the collective here on the planet Earth to begin to work more consciously with the Galactic Federation. Putting this information out there is key, and I appreciate you co-creating this with me. Okay, shifting gears now, we are going to move to my next topic, which has to do with developing your intuition. I was working with somebody this last week as well who was asking me a little bit about my journey. How did I develop my channeling abilities? Now, I talk about this in an episode I published several months ago. I'm going to try to have to dig for that and find it and add the link below if I can, where I'd basically tell you about my spiritual journey. It's kind of one of those stories of of my history in all of this. And I talk a little bit about my intuition, how to developing my intuitive school skills. And I talk about how in, in, even in a religious format, I was able to know and understand that there were things I couldn't see with my eyes, but that I could feel. And that's just on a general level, 
how I developed some of my clairs. But there is a modality that I highly recommend for those of you who are seeking a way to be able to do like you feel like you have abilities with like even healing or anything like that and you want to start tapping in and that is called the emotion code and that's the most basic level of this modality you can actually buy the book and i'll put the link below there's another one part of it called the body code that's more of an expanded version of it so what i did was i sort of did a self-taught version of the emotion code when i got the book and you do body dousing. So for those of you who already know what body dousing is, I probably don't need to go into too much detail. For those of you who don't, uh, you're basically reading and connecting with someone's body to find out if a certain uh, a certain thing is going to serve them or to get a certain answer. So for instance, some people use it with essential oils, where if you want to know what essential oil a person needs, you can do body dousing. Another word for it is muscle testing. Another word is biofeedback. And there's various, like I said, there's various ways to put this. I just learned it manually doing muscle testing where you take your thumb and your first finger and you connect them together and then you wrap them and in, intertwine them with each other and you pull. And if your thumbs come apart, then the answer is no. If your thumbs stay together, the answer is yes. And you can actually start out with it by asking your name so you can just tap into your own body and say I am and then say your name and it should be tight it should stay locked and then you could say somebody else's name and it should come apart and you can read up more about this in in the body code or the emotion code book link that I leave below but there's also websites that have all of this information I'm just briefly touching on it so you can understand the evolution of my intuition so I started with that, okay? And I literally had to do it with my fingers. This was not something I did in my head. I used my fingers whenever I would ask the questions. And again, you ask yes or no questions when you do this modality. It is not going to be complex, it's very basic. So I would ask yes or no questions when I did this modality. And the questions are outlined in the emotion code and also the body code, so I'm not gonna go into detail about that either. But basically what you do as you go along, I started hearing the yes or the no rather than just needing my fingers to do it. So I would tap into whoever I was working on. And I sometimes I would do this in crazy times like when I was driving. <laughs> you guys might think that's weird, but that's when I would do it. Or I would just be laying in bed before I go to sleep and I'd be like feeling drawn to work on one of my children and help them with maybe some emotions that they needed to release. And I would say, okay, is this, is this particular thing that they're experiencing due to a trapped emotion? And then I would ask yes or no. And again, I wouldn't use my fingers anymore because I was sort of transitioning out of that. And I would hear the, their body that I was connecting with, clairaudiently or claircognizantly, I would hear a yes or a no. And the reason why the yes or no is so helpful when you're channeling and first starting to channel is because it's very basic. It doesn't complicate things. You can do the same thing if you want to do automatic writing and begin with that. You could technically connect with one of your guides and ask yes or no questions. I've recommended this to several people and it's a great way to build your confidence. After you start hearing yes or no questions, then you may start hearing words, just one word phrases. You know, you could say, which organ of the body is holding this trapped emotion? And you might hear pancreas, okay? So you're gently allowing yourself to experience the clairaudience, the claircognizance. And for some of you, it might be a clairvoyance where you see a yes, or you see the image of a no, or you see an image of the body part. In my personal opinion, one of the easiest ways to begin to develop your clairs is by connecting with your own body and this actually is very, very linked to what I've been talking about, about turning inward. I said this in an Instagram reel and also in a podcast episode not very long ago, where if we're going to learn how to develop our clairs, why not learn to use them on our own selves, on reading and connecting with our own selves, bringing information through, not from some being far away on a star, but bringing information through from our very own bodies. So I want to go ahead and recommend that you attempt to do that. You can check out the links below, the resources below. I know I just touched the tip of the iceberg, as I usually do in my Ascension School episodes. They are not meant to be in-depth. 
But again, thank you so much, my friends, for co-creating. Check out the link below for my Galactic Federation School that I'll be starting in August. I would love to have you join me. As always, I'm sending you so much love and reminding you that I am you and you are me and we are we. Until next time.